is it. This is the big time, the get-it-on all-time ski lift. 3,000 square miles of untracked powder snow, and it's all yours. I'm Warren Miller. I've bought one week of unlimited helicopter skiing, but I have three years to pay for it with my American Express card. Since we arrived here last night, it snowed four feet up on top, three feet down in the trees. So, with butterflies in our stomachs, we start off in the undeepest powder snow our guide can find for us. Powder snow like this. On this first day, you have a whole new set of friends. As in the trees, you always ski with a partner, and you keep hollering at each other. If either one of you stops hollering, you know the one that stops has hit a tree. In this 3,000 square mile Mike Wigley Caribou Resort midway between Calgary and Vancouver, British Columbia is some of the best skiing in the world. It's no fun at all. If you wanted to design and build the perfect ski area, don't bother, because Mike Wigley's already done it. In Blue River, British Columbia, you have your choice of an old motel or one of Mike Wigley's new log cabins built right in the middle of the Caribous in British Columbia. The Caribous have 27 peaks, two miles high. And in this 3,000 square mile resort, there'll be less than 90 people skiing. Each group of 11 skiers has their own guide and helicopter and radio communications to the base. It's a once-in-a-lifetime, you've got to do it now, ski trip. You're divided into groups according to your ski ability, your size, your age, and the kind of music you like to ski with on your tape deck. These tape decks send out a continuous signal. Sounds hard to believe, but in places we found snow so deep that if you fell, the only way you could be found was to listen for your tape deck. Your second day in paradise begins just like the day before it and all the other days that will follow. The helicopter leaves from the parking lot in front of the lodge. It's that simple. Six minutes after you leave the valley, you're 8,000 feet higher. Your body has become equal parts of butterflies and jello. And don't forget, when you ski in a helicopter, it's the last one in, first one out.
Up here, a snow reported reed base 117 feet, 24 inches of new powder snow. Skiing, fair. in the funny clothes is my son Scott. He's colorblind. Something I really like about the Caribous is that Blue River is exactly like Aspen, Colorado was before the invention of the condominium. There's no expensive restaurants, no trying to keep up with the Joneses, because up here in British Columbia, everyone is the Joneses. After a day of skiing, the most exciting thing in town is probably a hockey game between the Second Street and the Fourth Street gang. Town doesn't have a Fifth Street. Next year, they get skates. Once a month, they have paramutual betting on the races. Eight or ten dogs to a team. Remember the old cowboy movies where the guy in the black hat always comes in last? Same thing applies to black dog. Enough of this incredible after-ski excitement. Here is what the third day has to offer. This is what the caribous are all about. There are so many different runs in the Caribous, no one is old enough to have skied or even counted them all. Why, there's one guy who comes out here every year. He's now 83 years old. He's logged two and a half million vertical feet since he first skied with Mike Wigley in 1970. The reason you never see any ski tracks in the Caribous is because the helicopter comes along behind you and covers them up. February is a good time to ski here. It's after the football season has ended, before the baseball season begins. And it's when you discover your wife left you four months ago to go to the Caribous. When your legs finally give out, you can take some time out for lunch with Judy Noggle, Mike and Bonnie Wigley, Katie Morning. John Reveal, general manager of Arapaho Basin, and his wife, Marie Chantel. 
while you have lunch every day, Mike and his guides make a detailed analysis of the snow conditions by digging down at least three meters and carefully weighing and recording the water content of each layer of snow. By closely studying the snow and its ability to bond to the layers of snow above and below it, they know the steepness of the slopes and which exposure can hold which depth of snow and what kind. The crystalline structure of each layer of snow is carefully studied with a handheld microscope and logged accordingly. And while they complete their records, the four different groups of skiers get together for lunch and compare ski stories with each other. Ski school director from Snowbird, Junior Benuth, his son, Junior Junior, Mike Wigley, guide extraordinaire, Susie Patterson, former Olympic skier. One of the many reasons they ski with Mike is that he's super careful. At least twice every day, he'll check everyone's tape deck to make sure it's sending out a signal, just in case. But so far, just in case, has never happened. By the fourth day, you come to grips with a helicopter and realize that it will indeed fly. in the air, Mike's always looking for that perfect place to take you skiing. As many times as I've ridden in a helicopter, I still have that voyage to the moon feeling. A feeling of total euphoria, of being something special. And I am every time I make my reservations with Mike for my next trip to the top of paradise. And now there's 5,000 vertical feet of skiing stretched out below you. This is why men like Mike and Martin do this for a living. Just imagine, for four or five months a year, they get to make the first tracks every day, every time they ski down. In 11 years, they still haven't skied every run. Up here, you easily make friends you'll have for life. All of you are in this together. All of you pay by the number of runs you take, so Mike's bookkeeper has to ski with you all day to keep track. Mike's bookkeeper is also his wife, Bonnie. That's her in the yellow outfit. You don't have to be an Olympic champion to ski here. You don't have to spend your whole week skiing down runs that are as steep as a kitchen wall. A lot of the runs are gentle and easy. Boy, I even get to take a run without my camera now and then. I get to ski with Mike and Bonnie her daughter, Michelle. At 13 years of age, Michelle Wigley has logged more vertical feet of helicopter skiing than most people do in a lifetime. With parents like Mike and Bonnie Wigley and skiing here with former Canadian Olympic champion Jim Hunter, Michelle has what anyone would call the good life. With 5,000 vertical feet to this run, you can link endless figure eights with your new friends. An experience that's going to last you a lifetime. By the fifth or sixth day, you've forgotten that you've traveled 3,000 miles to get to the ski run. Halfway down, all you can do is lay back and roll over. The caribous are really a slice of paradise, and you respond with a head dip. Then, on the finest run in the world, you leave your own distinct set of tracks, triple Mobius.
Now that's a ski run. The caribou experience is going to last you the rest of your life, or until your next run, whichever comes first. Only in the caribous can you ski 27 peaks over 10,000 feet high. Mike Wigley on the right and his assistant, Martin Huberger, can serve up a fantastic menu of skiing and good food, too. From Salzburg, Austria, Martin works in Canada all winter. Former world champion freestyle skier Scott Brooksbank. Katie Morning. Mike and Bonnie Wigley, two people who have devoted their lives to giving you this helicopter experience. Would you believe that a 10-year-old friend of Michelle's comes up from Dallas, Texas in her daddy's Learjet with some friends for the ultimate birthday party? A week of skiing in the caribous for her and her friends. One of the kids wouldn't even fly without his teddy bear. Since the kids weigh half as much as people, they fly in a smaller helicopter. They were really scared. A lot of caribou skiers save up their old age pension checks to pay for their grandchildren's helicopter trips. Even though you've never skied in powder snow, you're over five years old, can ski parallel, and can handle moderate to steep hills without too much trouble, you can easily ski anywhere in the caribou. There's no age limit. Mike even has a special week for kids under 10, as well as a special week for kids over 50. Ah, the heck with it. To get to this parking lot in Blue River, you either fly to Calgary or Kamloops, British Columbia, and then you drive for a few hours. you spent months getting your body in shape. You've done almost 10,000 sit-ups and jogged hundreds of miles. By the end of the week, you realize you can't hoot with the owls and soar with the eagles, and you realize your body will never receive the tender, loving care that these helicopters get. The last thing the crew does at night is check every nut and bolt. First thing the crew does in the morning is check every nut and bolt once again. By the seventh day, you know helicopter fever has a lot of symptoms. Noise and sweat, gloves, peaks, butterflies, lunch, friends, silence, fever, cold, hot, panorama, total disbelief. As we flew up towards the sun, I was reminded of an old mountain saying, what I do today must be very important because I'm trading one day of my life for it. There's nothing more important than your seventh day in paradise.
The caribous are a world you must go out and find, for they won't come to you. It's an ever-changing world, a world of deep snow, of great guides like Mike Wigley and magnificent flying machines. It's a world that rests as if waiting for something, someone, perhaps you. A few people who call this winter world their home know that tomorrow morning the sun will shine, the helicopters will fly, and during the night the snow will fall, and isn't that enough? things that man does here are unexpected. His mark, his worship, his love, his sport are all different. For here the mountains are blue and gray and white. They have so many faces, they never appear the same. Even in this most impossible terrain, there is life. There is a place reserved with Mike Wigley just for you. A place to enjoy your own seven days in paradise. Warren Miller here. I've made my reservations. Have you made yours?